Hey everyone, Murray Duck here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, last time we went through a little bit more of the Cypher Key Lair, and now you're probably wondering why I'm back on the math select screen and why I have the Cypher Lab highlighted. Well, that's because there's actually something I kind of neglected to show. After you beat the Hexagon Brothers at uh, Fenex City, you can come back here any time and you'll actually see just a little bit of a cutscene. So I figured I might as well show this off before I get back to the Cypher Key Lair. <laughs> and this is actually probably the last time you'll hear this. 18! 19! Wait, wait! Why aren't the numbers working? Maybe... Maybe there aren't just six of us. Hey, look there. It's that kid again. <laughs> I love these guys. They are so hilarious. So yeah, you can still come back here and battle these guys anytime. <laughs> uh, but I digress. Uh, let's get back to the Cypher Keeler because that's what you're really here to see, right? <laughs> oh man. That is fantastic. <laughs> but yeah. Freaking love those Hexagon Brothers. They're funny, they're dorky, they have just the personality kind of type I like. And even after beating all of Cypher, they still hang around the Shadow Pokemon Lab, no matter what. I'm not kidding you. But I digress once again, <laughs> quoting Clements by saying that so many times, and I actually could have come up here and healed my Pokemon, because I actually went back to uh, Fennec City and got my Pokemon healed. But yeah, this part right here. Uh, you'll notice that there is a little bit of a maze, and it's it's just a tad tricky. It's not that difficult. And wow, I forgot about this game. Who gave you permission to enter? Uh, I'm a here on my own authority, Gorog. Gorog. I don't. Whatever. So yeah, Shelter and Rhyhorn. I have never used a Shelter, nor do I really intend to. And I haven't really used a ride more because I don't have the patience to wait for that thing to evolve into a friggin' ride on. And by the way, that shelter is a shadow Pokemon, in case you were wondering. So yeah. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? Actually, I'm gonna brick break that ride horn and flamethrower this shelter. The shelter is a water type and it is resistance to fire. Even with Steve's high uh, special attack, it showed its little special defense. Yep, just as I thought, it survived. That's, uh, that's kind of what I like about this. You can actually plan ahead accordingly if you have the knowledge. And fortunately for me, I do. By the way, yeah, Shadow Blitz, and I don't know if it has Shadow Hold or something else. I don't remember, so... Yeah. Okay, time for a snag ball. Yeah, this guy's got five Pokemon. I'm actually also... I've actually also recently been contemplating just uh, going on making longer than 15 minute parts because there's going to be a lot of battling and there's going to be trainers with more than two or three Pokemon at a time this time these days. And there's a Swalot, which I do not care about. Yeah, I'm just thinking about making uh, videos that are over 15 minutes. Heck, even longer than 20 minutes. And there's a gold band. Yeah, I'm gonna crush claw the swallow, flame throw the gold band, because that's how I like to roll. So yeah, um... Uh... What do you think I should do? What do you, what do you viewers think I should do? Should I make longer than 15 minute parts, or should I make less than 15 minute parts sometimes if there's really not much going on, or what what should I do? Um, just uh, just give me your opinions. Hey, I might just very well just go on making 15 to 20 minute parts from here on out because hey, this game is long. It's very long. It's longer than Coliseum, I think. Uh, considering there are a lot more Shadow Pokemon. Of course, the snagging does go a bit faster, thanks to that system of having two or more Shadow Pokemon on a lot of, uh, the mid-game or later-game, uh, Cypher Peons and Admins and such, etc. And the final boss, Cypher, having six Shadow Pokemon, as I mentioned in the last part. Ah, uh, and last but not least, he has a Sharpedo. 
one of my friends really uh, kind of likes how Sharpedo looks. Uh, my friend, uh, my case is closed, and uh, he actually has some videos up. Uh, not the best videos, considering he's only like 12, but hey, he still uh, he still makes videos. So I don't sh I don't know uh, when he's gonna make another video, but whatever. And in any case, that was probably a bit of a dumb move on my part. No, it wasn't, because for some reason, Fate Attack isn't a physical hitting move, but Brick Break, of course, is, and that means that Rough Skin's gonna kick in and hurt Razor. But yeah, really, let me know what you viewers think about me making videos, uh, longer video parts. Yeah, Brute Force, that's how I got in here. Uh, yeah, whatever. I digress. Again. And to get another PowerPoint up here, which is always useful, I actually used one of the PowerPoint ups to increase uh, Razor's Crush Claw from 10 to 12 PowerPoints, so you get a lot more use out of that. I might use another one, because Crush Claw is an excellent move to have on a Zangus. And I think there's stuff down there. Yeah, there is stuff down there, so... Yeah, if you really want to get just about everything in here, might want to uh, just go up and down the stairs and then come back to the area. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Have you gotten lost all alone? No, I came here intentionally, Justin. I don't even need to say it. You know what I want to say, but you know I don't need to say it. So, yeah. Rosalia and a hot pepper. I have used Rosalia and Diamond and uh, raised it to its fourth stage evolution. I actually raised it up from its uh, pre evolved form, I guess, in Gen 4, and then to its evolved form, which was also in Gen 4, which were uh, Badu and Rose Rain. It's, pretty, it's a pretty solid Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm actually using another Badu in. Uh, or rather a Roselia right now in Platinum, so yeah, there's that. A little bit of information about some of the stuff I've done on my other Pokemon games for you. That is if you're really interested. And oh, great, here's another Pokemon from the list. Masquerade. Yeah, uh, Masquerade ruined the idea of the unique water bug typing of Surskit by making it a bug flying type. What was the point? Really, I'm just asking, what was the effing point? By the way, he's got a Blossom. She's got a Blossom. <laughs> I'm saying she... I'm saying he instead of she a lot. And I keep mixing up my words because I'm an idiot. Uh. But again, I digress. Yeah, I'm probably going to be saying that a lot. But hey, Razor and Seela got a level up, which is always nice. Crush the Flying Insect, and that thing has some defense. Well, then again, it also has Intimidate, which lowers physical attack, and that's no good for a Zangus, because Zangus is all about physical attacks. So, I think I'll just BURN! Burn it to the ground! Oh my god. I know a lot of people really, really hate that from a certain Mega Man X game. And I can understand perfectly why. It is annoying, it's repetitive, like some others, I know, who do a boy like you, I'll be on the street begging for a job. Uh, sucks to be you. So, yeah. That's a thing about games that actually also kind of gets on my nerves. Repetitive one-liners. Seriously. And we get a rare candy here, which is always good. And right here we get three Ultra Balls for free. So yeah, pretty cool. And I'm just gonna go back up and then go back down the stairs here, or... Actually, you know what? I, I don't know if I even can. What am I supposed to do? Um, ah, right, right. I, I remember now. 
the thing is, you have to get these poke food uh, containers onto those uh, little assembled uh, brown parts there. And they will open the doors. And right here, we get a max revive, which is more powerful than a revive because it fully heals your Pokemon's HP. I did not mean to push that block because I actually wanted to get the box here first, but whatever. We get three full heals from this. Very nice. Now we slowly push this onto the platform we need, which is right here. And that opens up another door somewhere. It actually opens up this door right here to these stairs. But, uh, you did see that there was more stuff back down there, so... I'm gonna see about getting that, because there is stuff, and I want to get stuff, because I like stuff. Who doesn't like stuff? Hmm. Although, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, as you can see, you can't really get over there. Oh, not yet, anyways. And, uh, yeah, Swine Up and Mawile were two of the three Shadow Pokemon that I actually had over there. Do I have to get... How the heck do I get over there again? i would forgotten. Oh, whatever. Um, I'm sure an answer will present itself at some point. I don't know. Who knows, maybe I'll figure it out off-screen. Maybe. Or maybe I can try and figure this out right now. Because this is actually kind of driving me nuts. Actually, yeah, you know what, screw it for now. I'll, I'll see what I can do about looking for it to s s later off screen, off camera and such, etc. Because I honestly do not remember how that room works. And, uh, yeah, if you move those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, boxes with pocket food, they actually stay in place, so you don't have to worry about, like, uh, having to move them back to the place again. Uh, and you know what? This will actually be a good place to stop, because I actually haven't had a short part in a while, so... Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we will continue figuring out, um, where the heck to, uh, keep going in the Cypher Key Lair. Uh, this has been Murray Duck. I will see you all later.